After seeing how simple it was to modify the second generation Chevy Volt Charger made by Clipper Creek to operate as a level two on 240 volts, many have suggested that the original level one charger that came with the first generation is exactly the same and will work on 240 volts. Let's crack this one open and take a look at it and see if that's even possible. I think it's time to put this one to bed because there's some debate out there whether the original first generation Chevy Volt level one charger is indeed a level two charger in sheep's clothing and that all we need to do is like the second generation just use an adapter plug so before going down that road let's uh, crack this thing open and take a look at uh, some of the components in here and then I'll determine after looking inside whether it is capable of 240 volts so to get into there I just got to pry the top cover off So pop off the top cover and we're in like Flynn. What we need to determine on this is, first of all, are there double contactors that will interrupt both the hot lines? And in this case, there are. Here are the relays here. Here are power relays. And we also need to determine, is the switching regulator to operate the low voltage parts capable of operating at 240 volts. This is the inverter over here. What it does is it rectifies the incoming voltage to DC and then operates a switching power supply to generate the 5 volt supply that the electronics requires. And this is the main filter. And this is the part that's going to go boom if it's not rated at least 400 volts. If it's only rated at 250 volts, that's not going to work because even on a 120 volt circuit, by the time 120 volts is rectified to DC, the main filter capacitor will typically charge up to about 170. So typically devices that only operate on 120 will have a 250 volt rated component and devices that can operate on up to 240 volts will have a component rated at 400 volts. Let's take a look. 450 volts. This component will operate on 120 or 240 no modifications required. So if you guys missed the last video, this is the adapter cable that I made up for my Clipper Creek charger, which came with the second generation Volt to convert it into a level two. And I've just basically, yeah, I know this is, this is kind of overkill. That's because the plug in my garage here is set up for a heater that uh, is on a 20 amp circuit. And this is only a 12 amp charger anyway, so it's only gonna draw 12 amps, but uh, so I've got a a big plug on here just to fit the, 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 the plug on the 20 amp circuit for the heater to my 20 amp 120 volt plug. We're going to plug this into here and power it up and watch for smoke. So there's the unit ready to power up. Power on. Green lights. Da, 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 da. It should go to green, which it did. The answer to that question is no, it is not compatible with 240 volts. The flashing red light indicates that the voltage is out of spec. When the unit is first powered up, it goes through the power up sequence, it checks for grounding, checks for ground faults and so forth as it's going through its boot up, then it checks the voltage. If the voltage is too low or too high, it will not turn on the charger. Now the rest of the circuitry is compatible, it does have the double contactors and it does have the power supply regular, the switching regulator is compatible with 240 volts, but GM did not want this charger being used in level two situations, so they put a voltage detector in to shut it down. Now you know. Thanks for watching.